All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we have you um, working on this yard machine, 5.5 horsepower, you know, Briggs engine. Um, working on a tiller. Um, did a lot to it. Um, carb, valve cover gasket, um, crank gasket. Um, Place the gas tank. Um, quite a few things. Um, all that to discover that I didn't have any spark. Um, the person that I worked on for it, they just wanted, you know, to get the leaking oil and gas situation solved. But then we ran into this. So, no spark after all, all of that. Mm, so, immediately uh, replaced the uh, ignition armature or the coil as it's commonly known. Um, a place that still having issues. Um, so this is what turns out to be the culprit here. Um, this kill wire. Um, this hooks into the back of the ignition armature. Um, runs up under this um, bracket that houses the throttle and such and the governor and all of that good stuff. It links into this kill connection and how it operates is once the throttle was closed off, it makes a connection and um, kills the engine. Uh, well, it kills the spark, so. That's what turns out to be my issue. So, this little part right here goes up and through there. You pull the tab back. You pull the tab back. It sits up in this little plastic bracket. And again, when you kill the engine, it pushes that and completes the circuit, um, causing no spark condition. Um, what happened with this engine? Somehow, this um, kill wire or ground wire, or whatever you will, um, had damage here to the um, sleeve itself, the rubber sleeve. So it was making a connection um, without it being connected there. So it was grounding itself because of the exposed copper wire here. So all I did was put another sleeve over, which is this white one here. And then over top of that, put another sleeve, you know, to further protect um, the copper insulation, well, the copper inside of the insulation. So um, what we wanna do to ensure that we don't run into this issue again is, again, connect it back into the initial armature. skills um, I should be using a real camera but you know this is just a little easier to hold on to um, there's a hole right there should bring it up through that hole feed it through the bottom here feed it through the bottom there again into that um, plastic housing pull that tab back you know and it should operate as it's supposed to um, I'm not sure if someone worked on this engine prior to me but um, this was like mashed, mashed by this housing. Um, and with all the vibration rubbing against the rub rubbing the rubber against the metal surface and eventually it wore down the sleeve and allowed a connection causing it to ground out. So um, it's kind of simple to get to once you've taken these things apart. Um, simply take off the gas tank you know, has those three, four um, bolts holding on the gas tank or whatever. It's a little plastic housing around as well. You know, you'll get the gist of it when you get to taking out bolts. Just remember, make sure you take pictures so you can ensure that you put it back together. Once you get it down to this next stage, it's um, five bolts that hold this housing on. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you also have a bolt that holds your um, 
arm for your governor on as well. There's a screw and a, a nut that holds that on. Um, that will allow that to then lift up. Um, be careful because it's still going to be, you know, some governor springs and stuff um, and some return springs connected. So just lift it up, but try not to lift it all the way up. You know, if you need more space, you can undo the connections and just, you know, take it all the way up, you know, and just put everything as you, back as you're supposed to. Um, how I tested for spark, no spark, and spark, you know, this simple tool, uh, I believe I got it off of Amazon. Um, if you're in a rush, you can get it at your local parts store, I believe, or Harbor Freight, something of that sort. But I'll leave a link down in the description so that you can, you know, find this. It's a very handy tool, and I recommend if you're going to be working on any type of small engine that you definitely have something like this handy. You know, saves you a lot of time. You know, you don't have to put the spark plug in there and ground it and pull it and hold it to the ground surface to, you know, see if you have spark and all that, you know. Simply just put it in there. Um, turn your engine over, you know, and uh, if it has spark, you will see the light bulb illuminate. If it doesn't, you know, then it won't. Same thing with the spark plug. The spark plug fits into this part of the sleeve. Same type of deal. But, um, yeah, that's how you figure out your no spark condition. That's how you fix the no spark condition on this um, yard machine. This is an older engine, um, but fairly up to date. It doesn't have the points and um, condensers and stuff like that. It has just a um, coil. So, you know, pretty easy to diagnose once you know what you're looking for. Um, assembly is self explanatory. You're just going to put everything back. Hopefully, you took the pictures and all that. The, um, get it back to where you need it to be. Simply just reconnect that back into the back of the armature, bring it up behind underneath the mounts and up under the bracket, back into there and you're all good. Um, well, that's all I have for you. Um, just figure I'd put that out there. I was looking for some content on this um, particular engine, but couldn't really find it. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. Um, however you do, whenever you do, whatever you do, you know, do what you do. Anyway, peace.